authority, to challenge authority, you have to take a stand. And, and I know, I know precisely that this goes against everything that you have learned and that we have learned in journalism school. We are taught to be objective and neutral in our reporting. But here's what I've found. Objectivity is almost impossible, and neutrality is not desirable on many occasions. Objectivity is not a realistic goal since we all see things from different points of view and from different cultural backgrounds. If we choose to cover an event, a person, or a country, by definition, we're putting everything else to the side. So if I choose to cover America and not Africa, just with that broad choice, I'm not being objective. So here's an alternative. Be transparent. Explain to your audience why you decided to cover America and not Africa, and then stick to the facts. I, I honestly think that the spirit of objectivity and the objectivity principle is still valid. Now, so I do have a real problem with neutrality. To be neutral sometimes goes against good reporting, good journalism. If you present both points of view in your report, it's no guarantee that you will be telling the truth. You cannot treat the same way a dictator and a victim of his dictatorship. You cannot treat the same way a racist and the people offended or attacked by him. Giving equal time is not necessarily the right ethical approach. False equivalence is not a legitimate journalistic practice. In those cases, you have to take a stand. And I have identified six areas in which we, as journalists, we have to take a stand. Racism, discrimination, corruption, public lies, dictatorships, and human rights. In those situations, we should not be neutral. 